Dennis has been such a successful filmmaker and father and friend. This guy is has the utmost integrity, honor, morality of anybody I ever worked with in Hollywood. The first serious film that Dennis ever made was a film about children with cancer. It was a beautiful film and a touching film, and it was his, in his very first effort, he won the DuPont Columbia Award for this film and got it uh, broadcast on ABC. When he went to Gustavus, Dennis only wanted to be a doctor. He had no thoughts about being a filmmaker. He just always pondered about how he could best serve humanity, the best path he could take in life to make a difference, to leave a legacy of goodness, if you will. That's really who Dennis is. At some point, he learned that he loved the creativity of filmmaking and storytelling so much that that was what his life should be and that he could make a difference to humanity and to his society. I think Dennis's greatest accomplishment and greatest production in his life has been raising his son Christopher as a single father. And one of the best lessons he ever taught Christopher was every day when he would drop him off at his prestigious private school in Santa Monica, there was a homeless man that was living there, a man named Reuben. He was living on the street and all of Christopher's friends would make fun of this guy. They would see him every day at school. But Dennis took Christopher to meet him and to show him that every human being has dignity and worth. And he taught him about compassion and humanity. But we can learn a lot about Dennis just by looking at the, the content he chose to explore with his filmmaking. Um, they reflect his core values, his temperament, and his struggles just to stay alive in Hollywood. But some of the themes that Dennis explored in his filmmaking were kids with cancer, child sex abuse, teen suicide, and troubled youth. And so that really shows the man's compassion for suffering, because that's what he chose to look at. And then he did films on environmental issues to show he has compassion for the planet. Dennis also did films about scientific issues. And it shows that he is truly a man of science and of faith, and that the two are mutually compatible. And I think those are some of the values that he received from Gustavus as well. Moving to California with a liberal arts degree to take on Hollywood as a dream, that's a risk and an adventure for sure. Um, but these are all attributes that Dennis embodies. Dennis is cheerful, always positive. I've never heard him say a unkind word about anybody. And I just consider him a dear friend and those are far, few and far between in life. I can honestly say that Dennis Lofgren is the best man I've ever worked with. And, and I've worked with some really fine and talented people.